the supporting cast. Uh, so again, we talked about what are the other elements that relate to the course. One is the catalog code. Um, again, you, you may, if you don't have AceWeb, uh, you may or may not be using that. Uh, what, what this ties in is the ability to put in your course description, or catalog export, or you put in a web description, uh, which can be HTML, uh, which, which is used on the web display. <clears throat> and again, if you missed it the first time in the new goodies, there is a new button in here called Generate HTML that allows you to type in the straight text in the top, hit Generate HTML, and it'll actually let you <clears throat> do some WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get, uh, uh, changing a font, putting in colors, you can embed uh, graphics, actually now link in a video uh, to your course description. And then finally, uh, you can set up prerequisites for this class. If you've got classes that you have to take level one before you take level two, etc. So that is the catalog code. Um, location record. Again, uh, student manager's course screen has a catalog or has a location conflict checker. <clears throat> That's managed through creating location records in the system. And uh, the location record has base information, uh, can be building a room. I mentioned earlier this idea of split location. This is an example of a split location, location record. Uh, Non-split, they would just be one big 55 character uh, description for where the class or course or conference would be held. <clears throat> location information here would be on a confirmation form. You can put in detail for the web, uh, individual notes, uh, actually, in 7.2 and 7.2a, we've actually got additional location information available to you. Okay, let's see how we're doing. Now we're getting, oh, the other big deal, holidays. <clears throat> Before, if you're a new user in AceWeb, and even, or a student manager, or even if you're uh, running AceWare uh, for a long time, you must create holidays for the term that you're going to be scheduling classes for before you start registering classes. Uh, because if you do that, student manager will respect the holidays that you set up. Uh, and again, there are some options that allow you to do location-specific holidays. Uh, so again, this is something you must do yourself. We do not, I wish we did, but don't have a way to automatically update holidays. Uh, what you can do is uh, actually even edit last year's holidays <clears throat> uh, for Christmas and New Year's and Thanksgiving. Uh, you do not have to keep the old holidays from the previous year. Once you've scheduled classes for a time frame, the holidays for that time frame are irrelevant. So you could just edit last year's holidays uh, to bring them up to date. Okay, special course types. One of the things I want to clarify, there's sometimes some confusion about the idea of what's a category and what's a course type. Uh, the big deal here is that category is user-defined. It's to think of it as a code field you get to create for your program to help you kind of demark or to separate courses into different groups or categories. Uh, we give you typically with the default system some samples, but those are purely examples. You certainly can modify those, uh, do with them whatever you wish. You, you wish. However, uh, type is a different thing. Type is a system code. You can't change those. That's something Matthew and me and, and Stein deal with. And basically what that does is allows you to define a class and give it particular characteristics. And here they are. Okay, independent study. This is for the independent study optional module. I think uh, Northern Colorado has that. Inventory. <clears throat> it gives you the ability to create a class that you're just using to keep track of sales of particular items. Um, online. 
And again, if you've got Ace Web, this is relevant to being able to let you group your courses for online because typically if they're an ongoing class, you don't have a beginning or end date, and that allows Ace Web to do special handling. Membership. Again, you have to create a membership class if you're doing membership tracking because this is what initiates the membership tracking process for the group, for your OLLI programs or if you've got special member types. Open. Open is generally probably the default uh, class type for most of you. Uh, you'll note that <clears throat> you can specify the default, but I think by default, default we call them open. Pending is uh, a way to assign a category to a class that's just really kind of a purgatory or a hold status. And generally, um, if you've got coordinators who are beginning to build a class for a prospective class, but they're not even sure that it's going to be scheduled, <clears throat> in order to get a class and start to work on a budget, perhaps, you could, you could create a class, give it a number, call it pending, and you can manipulate the class uh, budget. You can begin to set up initial details, and then uh, once it you determine you're going to run that, <clears throat> then give it a particular category type that you can then uh, actually have available for students. Uh, all right, uh, workshop classes. Uh, workshop is a, it's a big deal, <clears throat> and it allows you to track sub-events. We'll talk about more in a bit. Contract classes, again, a way to categorize a class as a contract program, primarily in reporting. There's not a lot of special handling with that. Event class, this is again primarily related to ACEWEB, is that if you've got an event like an evening, uh, an evening with the professor and you don't care about names and you just want tickets to get in the door, it's in an auditorium and the people buy one ticket, two tickets, three tickets, uh, it allows you to do that online with ACEWEB where a student uh, can enroll and say, I want five tickets for me and my four BFFs. <clears throat> uh, to go to this event. Donation, again, primarily for ACEWEB, enables open entry donations, and then packaging uh, is an optional module we're going to talk about in a second. Hmm, anything I missed there, Lori? We're good. All right. All right. Packaging. Um, there, this is an optional module, 1400 bucks, and basically primarily of interest, well, I should say, Package one type is particularly useful for uh, the tech schools and the career schools who do things like the CNA program that might have several different individual classes that make up the CNA program. <clears throat> it's a great way to help manage that process. Uh, package two is a kind of something anybody could use and allows you to actually bundle classes together and you buy the web bundle and you get course A and B and X and Y and you get those four courses at a discount. And you can enroll in the package and enrolling in the package will automatically enroll the student in all one, two, three, four of those classes. Uh, so again, um, that is, uh, that's a useful tool. A lot of people, I think people are enjoying that. Uh, and again, there is a webinar on that under webinar archive. We've talked about that make sure we know where that is. We go to customers, webinar archive, with me, Lori? Yep. Uh, that under optional modules, and we'll get down to that, Op optional modules, uh, we've got uh, the BOGO uh, webinar. 